Hey, Sonny, what's up? Hey, Raul. Man, I am swamped. What are you working on? I gotta set up all of these Zebra printers. I gotta send down new firmware, upgrade the settings. I gotta load files on these printers. This is gonna be a ton of work. Are you using USB mirror? What's USB mirror? USB mirror is an easy way to set up and configure your Zebra printers. All you really need is a thumb drive, just like this. With USB mirror, you can upgrade the firmware, settings, and load files simply by formatting the thumb drive into a Link OS printer with a USB host port. Man, that sounds amazing. That'll save me a ton of time. It'll also help me eliminate a lot of errors. Can you show me how to do that? Yes, no problem. It's really easy. To use USB mirror, your Zebra printer must be a Link OS printer and have a USB host port. Step two, a USB thumb drive is required. Not all USB thumb drives are compatible. We recommend using a USB thumb drive that is 32 gigabytes or less. Step three, the thumb drive will need to be formatted for a FAT32 file system. Also, uncheck the quick format button. For this example, the thumb drive is already formatted. Step four, a Zebra folder will need to be created at the root of the USB thumb drive and inside the Zebra folder needs to be three subfolders each name specifically as follows. A, APPL, B, commands, C, files. Within the APPL folder is where the version of LinkOS firmware is stored. This can be downloaded from the zebra.com support site for your respective printer. The command folder is where any commands needed to configure the printer are stored. For example, any SGD commands can be saved in Notepad .txt file and stored in the commands folder. The files folder is for any files that need to be stored on the printer's e drive. For example, this can be fonts, logos, or customized display panel settings can be stored in the files folder. Now that our USB thumb drive is formatted and set up properly, let's insert the USB drive into the host port and see how quick and easy the setup becomes. The USB drive is recognized and the mirroring process has begun. And the printer is rebooting. And now the process is complete. Wow, are you kidding me? That's all it takes? That makes setup so much easier.